Collimation error in leveling refers to the misalignment or deviation of the line of sight of the leveling instrument from the true horizontal or vertical. This error can occur due to various factors such as the imperfect adjustment of the instrument or environmental conditions like temperature change. Collimation error can lead to inaccurate readings and must be minimized or corrected for precise leveling measurements. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the collimation error for a dumpy level and how to correct this collimation error. I have been given a question which states that when carrying out the permanent adjustment of a dumpy level by two peg method, the following observations were made. When the instrument was placed at point E which is midway between C and D which are 100 meter apart, reading at point C is 2 meter and reading at point D is 3 meter and when the instrument was placed at point F which is in line with CD such that CF is 120 meter and DF is 20 meter reading at point C is 1.5 meter and reading at D is 2.75 meter we have to check whether the instrument needs permanent adjustment or not or uh, whether the line of sight is inclined downwards and we also have to find what should be the correct reading at C and D if the instrument is to be adjusted. First, when the level is at point E, which is midway between C and D, okay, C and D are 100 meter apart. Okay, so staff reading at C is 2 meter and staff reading at D is 3 meter. True difference of level, this is 3 minus 2, which is 1 meter. Okay, so always remember when the uh, instrument is midway between the two staff, uh, we get the true difference of level, okay. In this case, the collimation error is zero. And for the second case, when the level is at point F, okay, such that this CF is 120 meter and DF is 20 meter, staff reading at C is 1.5 meter and staff reading at D is 2.75 meter. So apparent difference of level, uh, that is between C and D this is 2.75 minus 1.5 which is 1.25 meter we can see that clearly these two differences are not equal okay so as the apparent difference of level is not equal to the true difference of levels it means this instrument needs adjustment okay so we can say that line of collimation is not horizontal for this instrument so let's assume that the line of collimation uh, or line of sight this is inclined downwards you can see the dashed line is the correct line of collimation and this inclined uh, uh, line is the inclined line of collimation okay so the uh, collimation error at c is ec dash and collimation error at d is ed dash so let us assume that the error in the length of 50 meter be when the instrument is midway between we will assume that the error uh, in the length of 50 meter is e so it means that uh, error at c when level is at f this will be given as so for 50 meter error is e so for uh, 120 meter error will be e by 50 into 120 which is 2.4 e similarly when the uh, this level is at f error at d this will be e by 50 into 20 which is 0.4 e so error at c is 2.4 e and error at uh, d is 0.4 e uh, after that the correct staff reading since the correct line of collimation this is above the inclined line of collimation it means the correct staff reading will be at c will be this the incorrect reading which is 1.5 plus this error which is ec dash so correct staff reading at c will be 1.5 plus ec dash which is 1.5 plus 2.4 e similarly correct staff reading at d will be incorrect staff reading which is 2.75 plus this error at staff reading at d which is ed dash so it will be 2.75 plus 0.4 e take the difference of these two staff readings so difference of levels will be 2.75 plus 0.4 e minus 1.5 plus 2.4 e which is 1.25 minus 2 e we already know that the true difference of level uh, when the instrument is midway between c and d this is 1 meter so you can equate these two 
difference of levels that is 1.25 minus 2e this will be equal to 1 or 2e this will be equal to 0 0.25 and from this you will get the value of e is equal to 0 0.125 so the error uh, in the staff reading uh, is 0 0.125 meter okay as this e is positive it means that the line of sight is inclined downward so our assumption is correct because if we have got the value of e negative it means that our assumption was wrong and line of sight was inclined upwards but since the value of e came out to be positive it means that the line of sight is inclined downwards so staff reading at c this will be 1.5 plus 2.4 e this will be 1.5 plus 2.4 into 0 0.125 which is 1.8 meter and similarly the staff reading at d this will be 2.75 plus 0 0.4 e which is equal to 2.75 plus 0 0.4 into 1.25 this is 2.8 meters you can also check the difference between c and d so it will be 2.8 minus 1.8 which is 1 meter which is equal to the previous uh, true difference value so our uh, so our calculations are correct so this way you can find the collimation error for any instrument such as the dumpy level or the auto level and you can also correct this collimation error in the instrument i hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned